Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. I promised it to you last week, and so here it is, my five ways on how to deal with anxiety and stress. But before we go in, shout out to the comments of last week. So many comments last week. Dinara on number one and X50 on number two. I saw a ton, a ton of comments come by and I really appreciate you guys taking the time out. So make sure during the video, leave a comment below. I'll always have a look. I'm very curious what you'll think. Anxiety and stress, all about that in this vlog. I never had severe mental issues myself, but I did have two burnouts in my career. One when I was 20 years old and the other one when I was 30 years old. I do still battle with a lot of anxiety and stress myself as well on a daily basis. If you think you have a super high dose of this and you can't like deal it with yourself anymore and even after watching my vlog, make sure to see a trained professional. Let's lift that taboo. Obviously talk about it with anyone and everyone that's uh, surrounding you. But don't hesitate to talk to a professional. But if you think you can cope, uh, just like I do, I can just barely cope. Make sure to watch this vlog, my five personal ways on how I deal with that. So I'm taking you out with me on tour in Asia. Let's go. We didn't fight till the sword. Losing my grip. Losing my grip. It's the constant travel in the true story and the real life of a DJ. Uh, right now, I just came from a four hour flight from San Antonio, Texas to San Francisco. But this is just the beginning of my trip. Uh, I am actually about to hop on a 16 and a half hour flight out to Singapore where I'll perform tonight or tomorrow night. There's a big time difference there. Let me tell you about a really handy tool that I use on a daily basis that keeps my mind clear and uh, never lets me get overwhelmed by any situation that I come across. Let's do this. So it's the phenomenon that I take out of my Kung Fu practice, something my Sifu introduced me to many years ago, uh, and it's called looking through 13 windows. What you basically do when, whenever you get into a situation, or even a week or a busy situation, you just imagine yourself going into that situation where you just picture yourself going into it, traveling into it, whatever situation may occur, you already live it. And before you go into that, you just, um, you just imagine all the scenarios that can happen. And this will get me prepared for my trip right now. And I'll take you with me. We're in the air already on this 16 hour journey. I want to talk to you about breath. Do you realize breath is that important? You can uh, do without food for about two weeks. You can uh, do without drinking any fluids for about two days maximum. But how long can you hold your breath? And so a lot of times during the day, people forget to breathe. Take a moment and to actually focus on your breathing. Uh, a lot of time where stress comes from is from breathing very high up in the lungs, very... <laughs> Whereas it's, it's good to actually stop yourself sometimes, take like 10 to 15 seconds in a day, just to take three deep breaths in and out. So when you do that, you'll feel uh, re-energized and you'll uh, be able to clearly see the situation better. How I breathe during the day is actually like an ongoing type of meditation thing and I'll tell you more about that. I'm on top of this 56th floor right here. It's incredible. I'm gonna take you inside and we're gonna talk about stress and how to deal with it. Stress, the silent killer. A lot of people are suffering from stress and it's horrible. So one thing you could say is uh, to ignore stress and that sort of thing, but right here, right now, I want you to acknowledge the stress. And a thing we do in meditation, preferably with your eyes closed, focus on your breathing and then park all that stuff that needs to be done and that's, that's leaning, weighing heavy on you, 
park it in the back of your head. And it's there. You can acknowledge it, but um, keep on breathing. And breathe calmly in and calmly out. And, and breathe deeply, deeply in, and then all the way down, deeply out. And so what this does, it makes you a bystander of your own circumstances. And you can actually, like, detach yourself from the stress and, and become you. And by utilizing this technique, you can center yourself a bit and, and just see what all the ruckus around you brings and and that it doesn't necessarily need to affect you and also don't be so hard on yourself you can work on your dreams you can try and achieve your goals but if you don't reach those goals don't be so hard on yourself be patient give yourself time um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time to get ready for my show now I know I just came from an uh, from a long long flight but show must go on. I will come back to you after my show and we're going to talk about uh, the point number four in this vlog and that's about living healthy and what comes with that. We make the sound where the people freak out, gow, gow, people freak out. Okay, and so now it's a quarter to four here right now, uh, but in Texas, in America, it's a quarter to three right now in the afternoon. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about living healthy, I'll tell you everything about that in the gym. Let's go. Okay, so I guess this is the heaviest they have right here. It's, uh, it's only 20 pounds, 10 kilos. So I'm going to need to figure out something else so I can go a little bit heavier. Let's go. So we're here uh, at the gym, here with Ashley actually, who's, uh, who's uh, here in Texas, and we are that annoying couple that we even work out on the FaceTime. I am so lucky I found someone that wants to do everything with me. So about the fit life. Often when I do my Kung Fu, I, uh, I just posted it up actually. I am battling my anxieties and my demons while doing that. This is what I do with the workouts as well. It really keeps me in shape, on tour, and mentally very stable. But what really matters is what you put inside your body as well. The uh, other day I was tweeting with a guy that said, oh, I need to do something about my sleep schedules and uh, I don't get it, I, I don't really sleep and I drink coffee all day and during the day I have so many jitters I can't like really focus. Well, there's your solution. And so food is the fuel you put in your car. So if you put bad fuel in your car, uh, your car won't drive as fast. And this goes the same for feeling healthy as well. Next up, I'm gonna reveal my absolute number one tool to fight anxiety and stress as we travel out to Macau. I'll come back to you afterwards. Stay tuned. What a day. Can you believe this day? I must say today I held a lot of stress and mainly to do with the, the ferry we, need to take, we needed to take. Also the kids and the people were super super loud on the airplane while I was trying to catch my night's sleep. It kind of sounded like an Asian market. Is that racist? I'm Asian. I'm able to make those jokes though. No? Yeah. But did you see it? Did you see it today uh, while traveling? My number five or technically my Favorite way to deal with anxiety and stress is taking naps. After my first burnout, I started doing this and they are and have been a lifesaver for me, especially uh, when I get so little sleep. 
During the night, the naps get me through. My favorite naps are the 30 minute naps and the 20 minute naps. And sometimes with the 20 minute naps, I'll, I'll wake up, the alarm goes, and it's like I've been sleeping like the whole night. It's incredible. With these short naps, you never wake up groggy and I'll always feel re-energized and, and ready to take, take on the whole world, really. If you are having trouble with naps, after my show, I will give you some concrete tips on how to fall asleep instantly and properly so you can utilize those naps as well. I have about 40 minutes left for my show in Macau. I will be back with you straight after. Make sure to stay tuned. So it's been a while since I've been in Macau and it's, it's so impressive. It's actually like a cross between Vegas and Atlantic City. It even smells like Vegas. Let's see if they dance like Vegas over here as well. Got a bit of that old school vibe there in Pasha Macau, uh, the old school vibe of Pasha Ibiza, I must say. Good times there in Macau and talking about time, I deliberately put all the time you need in there while doing workouts or meditation a day, um, even, you know, taking the time to breathe because I can understand that if you're watching this vlog, you are thinking, man, I don't have any time in a day to do all this stuff. Well, here you see how short of an amount of time it takes to actually Take the time to uh, literally relax yourself a little bit and I hope this helps. Some concrete napping tips as I promised to you in this vlog. So if you have a hard time napping during the day, so obviously try and drink a little less coffee, especially before you go napping. Although there's other theories online right now which I won't dive into. First thing you can do if you have trouble shutting off is literally focus on your toes. Focus on your toes to fall asleep relax your toes, then move to your ankles and then tell your ankles to relax and make them fall asleep. Try and relax them, breathe calmly, then move up, move up to your shins and just imagine your shins falling asleep. Move up to your knees and etc, etc, etc. Once you reach the top of your head or your head where you relax the eyebrows and relax the eyes, you are most likely asleep already. So that's a good hack and uh, one of the other hacks I'll use uh, in my 20 minute naps or even sleeping in the airplane is that I'll imagine I am sleeping in my own bed, my nice and comfy own bed where I enjoy, you know, the blanket or the feeling. Just imagine yourself being in a very comfortable place even if it's not. Obviously it's good to wear the princess mask and the earplugs as well so you won't get distracted. Oh. One more actually. Usually after two and a half minutes or even after one and a half minutes, you'll tell yourself, ah, I can't sleep, taking the mask off, you know, going uh, about your day. Try and do that after seven minutes or eight minutes, maybe even give yourself a challenge. Try and do it 10 minutes. So just relax within one and a half or two minutes, your body will say, I can't sleep. Stay relaxed, stay on the program, stay setting out to nap. Maybe even after five minutes, your body will say, I can't do it, I can't sleep. Hang in there. I promise you, most likely after seven minutes, you will fall asleep. Quick shout out here to Twitter where we've opened the discussion uh, when Avicii passed away. I really want people to talk about their anxiety and stress and a lot of people have came through. Special shout out to DJ Jordan Sanchez who shared with us that he's actually a mental patient and he was so free to give me some tips and advice on there. Make sure to check that out. It's really helpful. And what's really helpful as well as you giving me a like right here, right now. Hit that subscribe button. I have some valuable info on the way for next week. I will be talking about the top five beginner producer mistakes that I used to make. This will help you out massively, I promise. So make sure to check back in next week. Until then, L's up, race safely, and salute.